Hey everybody, Todd here with another edition of the Donnie Williams Show, the show where I tell a story or an anecdote or give some behind the scenes uh, tidbits uh, from my career as uh, uh, an uh, unknown uh, actor, an actor who flies under the radar, lives a little bit outside of the inner circle, but still manages to eke out some kind of a living which uh, is a greater accomplishment than any movie star ever did. Let me tell you something right now. Right now, I am a craftsman. I am a workhorse. Anyway, I tell these stories because Donnie Williams asked me to. Uh, you know, he's a nice guy, so I figured, why not? So uh, today's story is about a, uh, a late, uh, great, um, iconic actor who uh, appeared in the original Star Trek program <clears throat> as, as well as the uh, first bunch of uh, Star Trek movies that were made. Uh, his name was Leonard Nimoy. Uh, he played uh, a character named Spock. He had pointy ears. Uh, and he was uh, from a planet uh, Volk Volka? Volka? Anyway, they said he was a Vulcan. Um, anyway, so, you know, when you do commercials, uh, a lot of times you, you wind up doing a lot of takes of just, you know, a very minimal amount of material because uh, the people who are producing and, and the clients who are paying for it, they want to make sure uh, they don't always know exactly where they want to go with something and they want to have all their bases covered. So you, you, you can wind up doing, you know, 40 takes, 50 takes uh, on just one line. I actually, one time I had a, a, a commercial director come up to me after the second take uh, that I had done and uh, he came up to me and he said, uh, he, uh, I just want you to know that the, that second take, that's the one uh, we're going to use. I, I guarantee it, but uh, you know, they're paying money for this and they want to see you do it a bunch more times. So uh, just so you know, low pressure, don't worry about it too much. Uh, which was nice, you know, that ne never really, uh, happens. <laughs> but anyway, so this one time I was doing an industrial, uh, ad, which is a, you know, uh, you know, it can be like a 20, 30 minute video that they play at some corporate convention, uh, uh which was the case of this. And it was, uh, the, it, it was for a convention in Vegas for a car and they were a car company and they were introducing this new uh, car, uh, and uh, the, they got Leonard Nimoy uh, to be their sort of uh, spokes guy in the industrial, and I was uh, the the regular person that he was uh, expounding uh, the the virtues of this car to uh, throughout the industrial. Anyway, it, it, and it was really he was very uh, mellow, cool guy, very smart, dry witted, just a lovely a lovely person, uh, and he seemed. Um, I don't know, Zen. He was a very Zen dude, you know. He was just, you could, he was just chill. Uh, and, and he had, like, um, at one point in the thing, you know, he put his hand on my shoulder. And I remember thinking, wow, what a, th there was an energy to him. I, I know this is, like, weird and frou frou -y and I, I, I'm not a very religious person, but, you know, sometimes you just get a, a sense about somebody and, and, and the, like his touch, it was like, whoa, you know, it felt like it was, he really was from another uh, world and it was almost like a healing. He, it made me mellow when he touched my shoulder. I was like, oh. uh, uh, anyway, so in that very scene where he was touching uh, my shoulder, we, we did a take and it was, it was cool. Uh, and then, and then right after the, uh, director, uh, uh, came up and said, that was great, Mr. Nimoy. Uh, we just like you to do it one more time, uh, and, and lighten it up just a little bit. And Leonard Nimoy looked at him uh, in the eye and he said, no, I think you got it. And the director went, okay, yeah, yeah, I think we got it. We got it. We're moving on. <laughs> and I thought to myself, man, I hope one day. I'm uh, as uh, 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 powerful and as chill as Leonard D. Moy and could just tell somebody, no, no, I think you got it. Uh, but I'm pushing 50 now, and I don't think that's ever going to happen. I'm just going to keep doing a thousand takes if that's what they want. 
Anyway, live long and prosper, everybody. This has been a Blursh production. Blursh.